the courage to stand up for science and author this repeal bill. Yay! Yeah! I'm proud to live in a city that has a cutting edge research facility, the Pennington Biomedical Research Center. And when I talked to Dr. Claude Bouchard, who was the former head of Pennington, he told me that despite Pennington's outstanding reputation, it was still hard to recruit top-notch researchers. Why? Because Louisiana has an anti-science reputation. We have the worst anti-science reputation in the country because we are the only state with a creationism law. Not only is it driving away scientists and innovators, but when the great researchers on Pennington staff get offers from other states, this law gives them a reason to leave us. Another story. In February of 2009, the Society for Integrative and Comparative Biology pulled its 2011 convention from New Orleans. That's costing us millions of dollars and thousands of tourists this year. Why? Again, because the Louisiana Science Education Act has given our state an anti-science reputation. The Society for Integrative and Comparative Biology went to Utah. Can you believe that? Utah? Uh, now every science organization is thinking twice about holding a convention here. The most fundamental part of our biology education has been undermined. Evolution has been un it's undermined. 42 Nobel laureates know this. Research institutions know this. Major science organizations know this. Colleges know this. Companies know this. They'll question our science education because they won't know if we've been taught creationism. They won't know if this law has intimidated our teachers into not teaching evolution. They'll doubt our qualifications. And then they won't accept us into their college or give us that job doing cutting edge science. If you look up creationism on monsterjobs.com or career builder, you get a message that says, sorry, there are zero creationist jobs. That's right, zero creationist jobs. I mean, there are thousands of biology jobs, but in the science world, there are zero creationist jobs. And this isn't our first creationist law. Louisiana is addicted to creationism. Um, our first creationist law was thrown out in 1987 by the Supreme Court in Edwards versus Aguilar. This makes us second offenders. It's like, we have bright kids who are ready to go out, make their futures, to learn, to contribute, to change the world, and we don't want this door slammed in our faces because of the Louisiana Science Education Act. The Louisiana Science Education Act is that door, and we're here to throw it open again. We're here to say we want science and only science taught in science class. We're here to learn cutting-edge science that the rest of the world is learning, and we want evolution taught in our public schools. Yeah. We want to graduate and have people say, yes, we want, to come. we want to come to your state. You come from a great state. We want to locate our company here. You've got kids learning good science, and we're going to be here. We want Louisiana to be a place where Louisiana students want to stay and work because of the opportunities to do good science. It's time to repeal the Louisiana Science Education Act. Tell, let's tell all our senators to support Senate Bill 70 and Senator Peterson and repeal the job-killing creationism law. Thank you. Now we're going to have Representative Walt Leger speak. Thank you, Zach. Um, students like Zach Copland give us a lot of hope uh, for the future of the state of Louisiana. I want to commend him for his leadership on this issue. Zach is uh, Zach's obviously a very intelligent and gifted uh, and uh, driven young man, and I think that uh, we, 